cookies, cakes, cannoli. Crafting these confections is a century-long family tradition at Tripoli's in Lawrence. When I fill these cannolis, I think of my father and then my brother and now my nephew who tells me, make sure you stick it all the way in so that the cream goes throughout the whole cannoli. Marie Zappala practically grew up here, so filling cannolis is second nature for her. How many at this point? Oh, that's a good one. Oh, too many. Certainly more than a baker's dozen. Her nephew, Matthew Zappala, is the latest to carry the family torch. He co-owns the bakery with his dad and respects his legacy. A lot of years, a lot of hours, a lot of hard work my ancestors have done to build it up to what it is today. Countless cookies. This is our Italian butter cookie. It has an amaretto flavor in it, almond flavor, vanilla and chocolate mixed. And it's a very popular Italian butter cookie. Another popular cookie is a Sicilian cookie called a Toto. It's a lemon ice cookie. We also have a chocolate version, one of my favorites. This is another Sicilian favorite called a Pastacciotti. It's enriched pie dough with an Italian pastry cream inside. And Matthew says, try the cake, an Italian favorite. A cassava cake, rum cake. It's three layers of sponge cake, brushed with a simple syrup, spiked with a little bit of rum. And then in between the layers is fruit, either cherries or strawberries, chocolate and vanilla pastry cream. And then the whole outside is uh, pastry cream with uh, roasted almonds and all decorated on top with Italian uh, pastry cream. Matthew and his wife, who he met at the bakery, by the way, hope their new baby girl will one day be a part of the business. My brother and I are fourth, so maybe someday she could be fifth generation. Pies are her priority, and she's a perfectionist. This took me months to learn. I was terrible at this part. She's passionate. I wanted to seal the edge so that the juices didn't all fall out of the out of the sides. You know, you want to seal the top to the bottom. And it looks pretty. She's a performer. And now to make a pie with a heart in the middle. She's Pizzi. That was my nickname as a kid. I was Pizzi. My mother just made it up. Pizzi, aka Renee McLeod, is the owner and baker at Somerville's Pizzi's Pies. I adore pie, I always have. I've always been a pie versus cake. It's always been pie for me, it, you know, even as a, as a kid. She remembers her seven-year-old self getting messy as she learned from her mom and grandmother. I was a help, because I could peel apples. She took a leap later in life. With no business experience, she left her job at Whole Foods and opened her Beacon Street shop in 2003. I had no idea what I was in for. I didn't realize that I'd have to get up so early. It's um, heavy lifting, but it's not hard. It's just, you gotta really keep your back in shape. As for her labors of love. This is our roasted pumpkin pie. Pumpkins, brown sugar, some spices, a little bit of evaporated milk and whole milk. It's delicious. This is our blueberry pie, and it's wild Maine blueberries, a little tiny bit of cloves, and some sugar and lemon. The pecan pie and it's just roasted sweet potatoes in the bottom with the pecan pie mixture on top. And this one is our apple pie. About three pounds of apples go into this creation. It's a top seller. Pizzi says the reason is simple. Apple pie is the ultimate comfort food. Everyone seems to think pie is comforting. I think it's comforting. I love everything about it. I love every day at work. It's not like work. It's like I get up in the morning and I go, I get to make pie today. And congratulations to Renee McLeod, who in 2021 retired from day-to-day -day operations and ownership of Pizzi Pies to pursue other creative baking projects. She turned the operation over to new owner Jill Remby, a longtime employee who was carrying on Renee's vision of a neighborhood pie shop. And back to Tripoli Bakery, the hub of their operation is in Lawrence, but they also have locations in Salisbury, North Andover, Methuen, and in Seabrook, New Hampshire. Up next, the fine art of chocolate making. 